Hi everyone. So are psychedelic mystical experiences real? By mystical experience here, I'm talking about a very specific experience. Sometimes in the scientific literature, it's called a unitive experience because it's the experience of feeling unified with the rest of reality. And so I'm not talking about other experiences people have had, you know, telepathy or, you know, anything else that people might report. Um, that's not what I'm talking about here, but the experience of feeling one with the universe, the feel, the feeling of yourself dropping away and you being the universe. This is the experience that can cure depression, can cure end of life anxiety, can cure issues around trauma. This is the scientific research that's now being done. And it's important to understand whether the people who are getting so much benefit from these experiences, whether they're deluding themselves or if this is something real. And so the common response from someone who has never tried a psychedelic or had a mystical experience, the usual kind of mainstream response would be to assume that this is some kind of hallucination, some kind of strange experience they've had that tells them nothing really about the nature of reality. But actually, the mystical experience, this unitive mystical experience, is the most real thing in the world. It's the experience of the concepts, the stories, the thoughts that we usually take to be reality. It's the experience of those dropping away and bare reality just being there. And so the mystical perspective, the perspective of sometimes called non-duality, you know, which is the idea that the world isn't split into concepts. It's not split into duality, you know, subject and object. And it's not split at all. It's, it's one thing. And it's called non-duality because if you just say it's unity, unity is a concept and you fall back into the, the game of thinking of concepts and taking that to be reality. But so bare existence and the recognition that you are always part of bare existence and that your brain was doing this trick of making you feel separate. Not only is that real, it's more real than any story you could tell, any belief system you could have, anything you could say about the way the world is, is some approximation. But the mystical experience is the recognition of the way the world actually is. So on the one hand, you have the way the world is, not thinking about it, not saying anything about it, just raw experience of the way reality is from the perspective of this system, this physical system that's just ingested a psychedelic. And on the other hand, you have all the things people say, all these abstractions, all these thoughts. And so it's not that you can go through life and you can have lots of different experiences and the mystical experience sits on a shelf with all the other experiences as one experience you've had. Because it's not even an experience that you have had. When you drop away the concept of you, there's just bare reality. And so the recognition of the way reality is, is the most real thing in the world. And it doesn't matter if you have a mystical experience, you know, through in my case, my first mystical experience was through stress effectively and tying myself in knots of thinking around Catholic theology as a stressed teenager. It doesn't matter if you have the experience that way, through studying Buddhism, through fasting, or through a psychedelic. This is a feature of, of the natural world. It is the natural world. It's the recognition of your place in it, in the natural world. And so it doesn't matter if you affect your brain through your own psychology, through a meditative practice, through a chemical, 
it all takes you to the ultimate endpoint, which is deeper into reality and closer to the truth of the way reality is.